Hey Siri, take me through Apple Park Visitor Center. Okay. Follow me as we check out this cool Apple store where you can purchase the latest Apple products and accessories. The music wall was so cool. Look, the AirPods are displayed as music notes. So cute. And you can even try out the new AirPod Max over the ear headphones. They have the AirTags, the MagSafe cases, and the new HomePod minis. I am loving all these colors. If you're an Apple lover like me, I'm sure you can understand my excitement. This place was so cool. Here is a full interactive map of Apple's headquarters that you can explore on iPads like my cousin is doing right now. Let's get a closer look. You can even adjust the time slot to see how everything appears throughout the day and night. Now follow me upstairs. They have picnic tables for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the nice scenic view. And back downstairs we go. I wish every place had this cool hands-free door technology. On the other side of the store is a cute little cafe where you can order light pastries and drinks on an iPad. Ooh, a cinnamon crumb coffee cake. I'll take one of those. Y'all, this half open, half closed glass wall is dangerous. It's kind of trippy. I wonder how many people have walked into the glass thinking it was open on all sides. Thanks, Siri, for showing us around. Hey, Google, show me around the Google headquarters. Sure. Okay, so before we got there, we were here taking cute pictures by the Google sign. Then I saw these cute Google bikes and I'm like, yes, let me take one for a spin. It's the Google colors for me, y'all. The Google headquarters is such a vibe. This is one place I can actually see myself working. They have the cutest little gardens and outdoor seating areas, perfect for catching some fresh air in between meetings. Follow me, y'all, to my favorite part of the campus. Wait, is that a dinosaur playing the drums? Okay, Google. And here we are. These beach chairs in the sand would be where I'd spend most of my breaks. Now let me hop back on this bike to finish our tour. I love how Google promotes exercise with these Google bikes scattered all throughout the campus. It's giving ride like the wind bullseye. It's giving look mama, I'm riding without my training wheels. It's giving new bike, who this? Now y'all, don't talk too much about me and my cousin. We was a little shaky on the bikes, I'm not gonna lie. I was just so excited to actually be at Google that I kept getting distracted and losing my focus. This honestly would be a dream job for me. Today I learned taking a selfie and riding a bike is not the best idea. Thanks Google for having you girl. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Third stop meta, aka Facebook. I'm gonna keep this one short because your girl was starting to get hungry. Oh look, Facebook bikes. When you visit meta headquarters, taking your pictures in front of the giant meta sign at the entrance is a must. And don't forget to capture the street sign as well. Now we feast. Here we are at in and out I can already taste their delicious burgers and animal fries dancing on my taste buds. This time, I decided to switch it up and try the double double. And let's just say, uh, I won't be going back to the singles anytime soon. Y'all, it's the sauce, it's the melted cheese, it's just everything for me. Bye y'all, time to eat.